boom, boom, boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. How, 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 how. You got your mum's dress now and everything. It's all fixed up. Well, we can still change it. Look, we keep talking about it, though. It's never going to happen. So, look, you're right. Let's just go. What? Now? Tomorrow morning, then. I, I don't know. As soon as we can get sorted. Just in case something bad happens. Like what? How are we supposed to organise the kids between now and then? I should have to go around telling everybody. We'll, we'll send them a postcard. Sam? We might not have time. Right, you stop here and, and I'll tell my aunt senior. Oh, we don't know yet. They, they, they might be looking for somebody else. As soon as I get her inside, you go home, right? Right. Can I help you? Vicar shouldn't be too long before she's back. We're looking for Sam. We were told he might be here. Well, you're supposed to be done with him, aren't you? It's just a few more questions, that's all. Well... I don't know where he is, honestly. Not being funny, love, but we haven't got all day. <sighs> like I said, I've no idea. Oi! Sam, run! <laughs> Get away from me! I'm not done out! Yeah, what are you running for, then? I'm warning you! <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even there! Rachel! Oh, we've had another chat about the fire, Sam. Oh, Sam, leave him alone! And what forensics have turned up, then we can get into threatening a police officer with a weapon and resisting arrest. Oh! You're in big trouble, mate. I think you're being really sensible. Hey, what if this is the first sensible thing you've done in your entire life? I thought you said there was stuff I needed to know. Can we just get on with it? Just making the most of my time with you. Oh, I'm going. Except you're not here because that would be the end of Sam. Just tell me what I need to say. In a sec. We're waiting on someone. What do you want to do? Do you want to stick the telly on? Or should we play a board game? Should we play a game of chess? Oh, no, hang on. Would you prefer to play noughts and crosses? No need. You're a coward. Well, that's not very nice, is it? After you went and burnt his house down. Let's just skip the pleasantry, shall we? Get on with it. You need to know everything, and I mean everything. So that when the police talk to you, you sound convincing. Just get on with it. Don't be in such a hurry. You've only got one chance at this. You mess this up like you've messed your whole life up and Sam's not going anywhere. He's staying where he is. Charity. Okay, fine. Start from the very beginning. Tell her where and how she started the fire. In the lounge. Or what you'd call the front room. You came in with petrol. Hang on a minute. Back up a bit. Where, where did you get it from? From the far sheds. There's a few cans in there. You got that? Fine. Go on, you were saying front room petrol. You started pouring it over the tree. Some of it splashed on your coat. On your sweater. It stung your eyes. But you emptied the can. You went for a match. You struck it. It went up quicker than you'd thought, than you'd expected. Incredible. It consumed everything. Everything. Rachel! <laughs> Do this. Look at the state of you. I wanted to see you. I wanted to see you, but I knew you'd make it hard. Of course. 
This is mad and it is wrong. I love you. I love you too. So I can't stand by and watch you do this. If you love me, you'll help me. Rachel, what's the matter? Ali? We're all right. You don't look all right. I'm gonna go. Stop, you go inside. Now, please. You have got to promise me you will never ever tell anybody about this. I'm not promising anything. Yeah, you are. Because otherwise, Sam will go to prison and I'll go to prison for lying to the coppers and jail win and he'll take Archie and I'll never see him again. Bitch. That is what will happen. So I am trusting you, okay? Bye. Bye. Rich. Rachel! Phone. What? Give me your phone. I'll give you a new one later. Are you ready then? Don't screw up. Do you reckon? I thought you were the confident one. <sighs> Why aren't you writing any of this down? It's all on there. I think you should have a lawyer. I don't want a lawyer. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. You've been listening. So ask me more questions. About what? The fire! Not much point. What with you telling us everything anyhow? You don't believe me? Why would I make this up? All right. <clears throat> Tell us again, from the start. I got into the house with a key that I'd nicked off Sam. I had a, a, a can of petrol from the far shed and I went into the front room. Lounge. I poured the petrol over the tree. Keep talking. Well, I've told you it all. So you won't mind telling us again? Some of it splashed. It got on my clothes. Stank so bad it, it made my eyes sting. I, I, I dumped the can of petrol where I was. I lit a match. It went up. Dead fast. <sighs> Faster than I expected. All right. I need to step out of the room. Talk to a couple of people. Keep you company. Don't go anywhere. So did you deliberately set your boyfriend up? No. No sign of you on the CCTV. It's like you've been framed special for Sam Dingle. Well, I, I told you I'm no good with computers. I thought I'd wiped it all. What were you wearing? What do you mean? Simple question, what does a girl wear when she sets out to burn a big house down? I'm no fashion head. Well, haven't we been through all this? Are we boring you? Jeans, a hoodie and a sweater, one of Sam's. Which you saw fit to stash in your boyfriend's hut. B because I was running late to meet him. I mean, I had petrol on it, I couldn't let him see it. Fave jumper. No, Eddie, guess what I'd done? I, he, he wouldn't have liked it and he probably would have ditched me. Leaving it though worked out well for him. Why don't you go back and get it? You managed to sneak past us to fiddle with the CCTV. Because yeah, I, I didn't reckon you'd bother with his hut. Bit daft. Well, I've not exactly done this before. So he just left it there. In his hut. On the back of the door. Not on the door. What do you mean? Well, I, I pulled up a floorboard and stuffed it underneath. 
What? Rachel Breckel, I'm arresting you on suspicion of arson with intent to endanger life. Oh. You do not have to say what's anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which no, you No, what's going to happen to me now? Anything you do say may be given in evidence. What? Do you understand? Well, it, I'm getting bail, aren't I? Yeah, we'll see what the custody sergeant says. <sighs> Rachel, you need to calm down. In, in a few seconds, you'll get a break to see your kid. But first, we've got to leave to do some paperwork. Oh, what about Sam? Out of our hands, that. taken any longer. They didn't say out about Sam. Did they charge you? What if they don't let him out? Did they charge you, Rachel? Right. A bit of patience now, then, eh? Okay, we're going this way. So aren't you the lucky fella? Well, what? You're going home. I'll come. But I don't know. Let's not ask too many questions, eh? But it's legit, like... Oh, no. Uh, busting you out. Oh, to again send you? But you look like a proper screw. It were a joke. Sign the forms, and you're not my problem anymore. So you remembered all your lines then? Oh, who would have thunk it, eh, Rach? Don't you ever just stop. You know, for a second, like, and just hear yourself. Oh, come on, we've all done things we're not proud of, including you. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, would we? Making out like you're not the bad guy. You know, you're enjoying this, you're just cruel. Maybe I'm painting on a smile. Listen, sweetness. I don't know why I feel the need to justify myself to a tramp like you, but make no mistake, I would love it if I could sit around all day on my sugar daddy allowance, congratulating myself on what a great mum I am. But it's people like me and him that make the world go round, yeah? You're insane. That's mine, give me my phone. It, it's Sam, is it Sam? It's Lisa. He's out. I guess we all live happily ever after then. Please, let, let me call him, just a text. Well, you know what? I've already just taken that liberty. What? Can't trust you to think straight. So I reckon this is gonna convey the spirit of what you'd wanna say. I wish it had worked out. I'm so sorry, forgive me. Please, Charity, let me do it, I'm begging you. Do you want me to add some smiley faces? Kisses, hugs, winks. No. Okay. There we go. Right, look here. Take this. And for God's sake, don't count it now because we'll be here forever. There's a phone there as well with names and numbers in it. People who will help set you up. And what about Sam? You contact him now and. You're both finished. You better understand that. I guess it's goodbye then. Goodbye, Rach. Dinner? Not completely versed to the idea. You can sit opposite me and tell me how clever I am. Mm. And gorgeous. Clever and gorgeous. <sighs> the relief started talking, is it? No. Does winning make you horny? 
Should we go into town? No. I don't want to. If pub food's not good enough, then we'll have to do it another night, because right now I just want to look at Jay's face and know what he's got coming. Do you know what? It's going to be a fun few days. And frankly, I'm a little bit excited. You've been incredible. I have, haven't I? And certain folk are about to learn a life lesson. But there's people you mess with and people you don't. You all right, Dan? It is Dan, isn't it? Don't we know here? No, it's uh, more a friend of a friend. Declan Macy. I think you got me confused. He's no mate of mine. No, oh, no matter. He wants me to give you a message. He'd like you and that gobby little ex of yours to stop spreading lies about him. Yeah, well, what if we don't? Amelia. That's a pretty name, isn't it? She likes going to church. How would it be if the next time she went was in a box? Look, I don't know who you are, but here's a message from me. You go anywhere near my kids. <laughs> <laughs> You breathe another word of what you said today. Your family are dead. <coughs> Megan? The insurance money has just come through. So everything. Come out, Elliot! Sam, please, you're only going to make it worse. Leave me alone. We're trying to help what you. What the hell do you think you're doing? You ruined my life. No. Rachel did. Sammy, listen to me. She went on the run because she couldn't face the consequences. She wasn't like that, and you know it. You know, sometimes we trust people, Sam, and they let us down. Don't get off me! Look, it's time to forget her and move on! <laughs> you lot, you reckon that she never really loved me, don't you? Well, you're wrong. She did. She does. He won't be hassling you anymore. Yeah? He's going to pay for my window. You drink your malt from a dirty glass. <laughs> if you were a real woman, you'd pay for your own drinks. <laughs> True. <sighs> Perhaps meeting Valerie was karma catching up with me. I've been a terrible person. I've done some awful, awful things in my time. You have. You've been vile. But I'd hate to lose you as a friend. I've grown quite fond of you despite your failings. Oh. That, madam, is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> you won't be laughing tomorrow when I give you the bill. <laughs> you think your boutique hotel overcharges? Ah, oh, your good company will be worth every penny then. <laughs> That's high compliment coming from a professional skinflint. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking, I'm going. No, don't. Stay. Well, think about all day. Get off me! If you want to comfort somebody, you cuddle them. You don't have sex. Keep your voice down. Why? Are you frightened people might find out what you're really like? I'm frightened he'll say something you're going to regret. Well, that's just me, isn't it? Honest, upfront, not like you. Liar, cheat. Now hang on a minute. Please don't do this. So is he trolled again? Everyone, see my sister here? The shining light of this community. Mm, strong, dependable. Well, guess what? I've just found out she's been sleeping with me husband behind me back. She might look like butter wouldn't melt and dress like Princess Anne, but beneath all this false bonhomie, she's just a dirty old slapper. Right, that's enough. Uh, enjoy your drinks, folks. But don't forget, don't leave her alone with your husband, because before you know it, she'll have them dragged round the back and be having it off with them. Sorry about that. As you were. No, Vicky, just give her a moment. Gemma, 
Why didn't you say something? Because if you had actually cared about anybody apart from yourself, you would have known. It's not my fault he likes me. Oh, yeah, because you gave him absolutely no encouragement whatsoever. Gemma, I'm not a mind reader. I didn't know you liked him. Oh, doesn't excuse the fact that you're a selfish cow and a rubbish friend. Oh, yeah? Well, Sean doesn't seem to think so. Because, let's face it, you gave him everything he wanted and he's still not interested, so... Gemma! Oh. Oh. Gemma, you OK? Get away from me! Oh. I hate you! Fine. It suits me. Have a nice life. I think we should call the police again? Maybe in an hour or so. There's not much more they can do than what we're already doing. And I suppose they could widen the search to the town centre, check the train station footage. What is it? Dom! What's going on? What is it? She's here. She's got a weak pulse and she's unconscious. But she's alive, then. Any idea what happened? She does have a head injury. Might have happened when she fell. It was dark. I mean, she, she might have slipped. Young girl in a ditch. Might not just be the alcohol. She was all on the road. Do you see anybody hanging about or anything? I mean, if that's what this is. Let's just leave it to the police, eh? Could have been our bell down there. But it isn't, sir. I wouldn't swap with Dom now for the whole world. Thank God we don't have to. There must be more you can do. There must be something more. There must be something. I'm sorry. There must be. Whatever the cost. Oh, Mr. Andrews, we've done everything. Gemma was already losing brain function when she came in. I'm afraid there's no chance of recovery. So, 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 so that's it then, yeah? So, so we just what, switch off the machines and, and that's it. Take your time. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. This, oh God. this, this, this is not real. It's not real. No. She's there, breathing. She's warm. She's alive. She's alive. It's okay. It's not okay. Don't you dare say it. God! God! Oh, God. Not my little girl. She got me. She got me. <laughs> oh, no. Dad? Dad, what's happened? I'm sorry, love. No, stay there. No, no, she can't! No, Jenna! Jenna! And then they woke up, and it was just a dream. Sleep now, my love. Sleep, yeah? Mr. Andrews? It's time. Can I, um, can I stay? Of course.
It's okay. <laughs> no, it's all my fault. Shh. It's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. <laughs> Great, that's all I need. Why did you tell on me? Because you can't go around bullying people for the sake of it. Right, and if you're in trouble, it's not my fault, okay? Don't blame me. Whoa, you're not going, are you? What about your drink? Oh, I've got a meeting. Um, if Jay comes in, can you just tell him I had to go? Hey! Oh, sorry, I'm late. I had to nip back to the factory. Bree? Bria! Bree! Bree, can you hear me? Jacob trusts you. What is he going to think when he finds out you've used his savings to go shopping? It was for work. <sighs> and you don't have to tell him. You've no idea how important being a part of his life is to me. It's Priya. She's collapsed in the cafe. What? Is she OK? I don't know. They've called an ambulance. What? So just, just go and find out. I'll cover the shop. I thought you said she was OK. Yeah. She is. You better not be lying to me again. Yeah, she just collapsed. She had a stomach on the sofa as she fell. She was unsteady on her feet when she arrived. I tried to get her to sit down, have a drink. Bria, what happened? Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I just tripped. It was an accident. Not from where I was standing. She blacked out. She came a right crop. You do know she's pregnant. Oh, I am fine. Okay, there was no need to fuss. Uh, come on, let's get you to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. I, I feel a lot better. Yeah, I'm coming with her. No! I don't want you there. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? What if it's a baby? No, it isn't, all right? The baby is fine. Please, will you just leave it? Priya, come on. Yeah, what she said. How does she know the baby's fine? I know you're worried. We all are. You pointing it out isn't going to help. You know, the last thing she needs in air condition is a little more stress. But I'll call you as soon as I know anything. Just go home and wait. All right, Bob. Hey. Uh, trying to avoid more. Well, if you Oh! Bob! What? Oh, I know what this is. You're in on it, aren't you? Sorry. Mm. My birthday surprise. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. No, I'm, I'm just waiting for the bread delivery. All right, that's, that's fine. Have you seen Paddy? Uh, Paddy, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he went that way. Oh. Uh. Hey, pro, is that you? <laughs> Come here! Whoa! Hello, stranger. Look at you! <laughs> oh. Look at this place! <gasps> Glad to be home. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for now. Shush, have some patience. It's gonna be mega. Here he is, finally. I hope he's brought an extra element. Hang on, how come it's cool, but that's the big surprise. Excuse me, I'm really nice. Hey, bro! <laughs> she alright? She's fine, aren't you? You shouldn't have rushed out like that. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I just didn't see her. No, I'm done. One little pirate safe returned, all in one piece. Oh, my God. Hmm? Donna? Hi, Marlon. Happy birthday. How's the party going? Fine. Can I have a word? Oh, um, April needs a tea. Oh, Bob, you take her home. I can cook here. OK, yeah. Sure, it's all right. Come on, let's uh. go this way. Yeah. 
I should have told you I was coming. Don't be silly. You've got every right to be here. Your timing could have been better. Oh, sorry. Bell's not with you? You should be enjoying your party. I can't, um... do that until I know why you're here. Please, Donna, I just... I need to know why you turned up out of the blue. Um, I had a job interview. Thinking about moving back. Hot and Nick. What does Bass think about that? Me and Barry aren't together anymore. Sorry to hear that. So you're young, free and single? Oh, hardly, not with April. Yeah, I suppose not. <laughs> I've got a little boy now, Leo. I'm not with his mum, she's married to Paddy, but I'm, I'm engaged to Lowell, I've never been happier. But no offence. I'm not here to try and claim you back. Oh, thank God for that. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I immediately assumed <laughs> that I was part of the equation. I don't know if that's egotistical or neurotic. It's probably, probably both. To be honest, you, you sort of are. Am I? How am I? <laughs> Go back to your party, it can keep. How am I sort of involved? Now's not the right time, please. Let's talk when it's not your birthday. Tell me. This really isn't how I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I'm here because of April. What's that going to do with me? Can't you guess? She's nearly five and um, Barry isn't her dad. What are you saying to me? Kiss your smile on. You seemed a bit confused yesterday, Belle. I was in the room and she seemed very clear. Not with everything that happened. Not about Gemma getting pregnant by your then boyfriend, Sean Spencer. What's that got to do with anything? You also neglected to mention that you and Gemma had a physical altercation at school. We had a fight, it's not a secret. Not anymore. Were you jealous of her, Belle? Did you envy Gemma? No, I was just mad. Kids still. Hardly. You didn't like Gemma, did you? Yes, we were friends. I hate you. I could kill you. That's a direct quote, Belle. From you to Gemma on one of your social media accounts. Which was ages ago. Yeah, that's nothing to do with what happened. That'll be for the jury to decide. Belle Dingle. We are going to charge you with the murder of Gemma Andrews. What? You do not have to say anything. This is mad! But anything you do say will be used you in evidence against you. can't charge her with murder! You've done that! You can't! They're really not the babe magnets people make out. You're the first woman who's come anywhere near it. Still, it's a sexy bit of kit though, isn't it? Right, I'm, uh, I've finished, so... I do paperwork in the van. Sorry, I, I didn't mean you were a babe. I, I mean, you are, but... Uh, oh, no, it's fine. No, no. How about I take you for a coffee and we can start again? No, no, I need to get back to work. Uh, you're not going anywhere without your keys now, are you? Just give me them back. Come on, one. Just give me them back! Oh, all right, there you go. I didn't mean buy it. Come on, I'm only... Yeah, ah! please! You psychopath! I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Call an ambulance! <laughs> Miss Dingle? He was two seconds. The guy was supposed to call it Vixen, but he's not, so. Can I have a word, please? Give me two seconds, I can fix it. Oh, Miss Dingle, you're under arrest. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry, but you're gonna. Yeah, it was a perv, okay? I had to stop him. Debbie, calm down. Are you listening to me? Debbie! Debbie! Debbie Dingle, I'm arresting you on suspicion. Debbie, what's happened? You don't have to say anything, but it may happen. What shall I call you, Dad? What about your woman? I'll tell you what, right? Anything you can't do, come with you, yeah? Pete, stay out of it!
finally ready to face me? I was just talking to my son. You sure you don't mean our son? Oh, don't start all that again. I was hoping you might see how ridiculous it all sounded now that you've sobered up. Well, funny that. The more I think about it, the more sober I feel. I don't know why you're still going on. I have told you, you were wrong about all of that, and that ought to be the end of it. Moira, I've known you long enough to know when you're lying. Well, maybe you don't know me half as well as you think. You see, in your head, everything has to be about you. Well, here's a surprise. I've got more important things in my life. Well, this seems pretty important to me. Wrong. You've already tried to screw things up between me and Kane, and now you're trying to come between me and my son. Back off. Leave me alone. You're right. Get off me! The hell are you playing at? Could kill me, you flaming moron. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I had things on my mind. You two around again, more like. What's all that about anyway? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. Come on, let's go to the farm and get you cleaned up. Be quicker if I give you a lift. Well, walk, thanks. Right. Then I'll walk with you. Maybe she's being clean away. And you don't think he. You know, did I run to you? No. No. Okay, I'm seeing Kane, but not Myra. Don't ask her, are you? I'm flaming heck, I hate all this, I hate it. No, 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 calm down, calm down, what's happened? I am never, never going to do anything like this again. I'd like to welcome Charity, Declan, and all the family here on this happiest of days. Mm. Firstly, could I confirm your names? Declan Macy? Yes. And Charity Dingle? Yes. Although, not for much longer. This, um, place in which we are met has been duly sanctioned Either, by law for the if you cough at the hold your peace bit, not you a chance here, he'd actually kill me. <laughs> you, uh, still ticklish? Don't Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man, one squeezing one quite hard. <laughs> Therefore, if there is any person here today who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they must declare it now. It's always a scary moment, that. But I, uh, I like to make them sweat a bit, you know? What well, comedian you aren't, you pal. You should be on the stage. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. We now come to the giving of the wedding rings. This is the traditional and ancient way of sealing the contract you've made. Oh, very funny. Hmm. No, no, you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Is there a problem? I think I've left the rings in the cafe. No. No, you didn't. You can't have. Nobody actually does that, Robbie. Just leave it with me. I'll be 15 minutes tops in the rolls. Well, you can't go in that car. Well, besides, what? I've got another service to get to. If you want the rings, you'll have to rearrange. Oh, no, 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 no. We only need one. Megan, just give us one of yours, will you? I don't think so. Oh, come on, you'll get it back. No, I never take these off. Well, you're going to have to today because we need a ring now. Ow! Ow, you're hurting me! It's stuck. It won't come off. <laughs> What are you doing? You can't bite it off. I'm just going to spit on it to loosen it. Don't you dare. Will you do then? Go on, spit on your finger. Just please spit on your finger. Spit on your finger! <sighs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, there we go. So you were you were saying? I <clears throat> I love you, Moira. I promise to always love you. I'll look after you. That's it. That's enough. It's on, it's on, it's on. Moira. Oh. Ken Dingle, I love you too. People are always telling me that you've changed and that I've been a good influence on you. But I don't want you to change whatever you've done in the past. You're a kind, honourable, good man. And I'm not just saying that because there's a copper in the congregation. <laughs> I'm never scared when I'm with you. Because you're right. We can do anything and get through anything when we're together. All that I am and all that I have, I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment and the commitment I have made to you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. Oh. She's gone to the loves. But she needs to witness this. It's all right, she'll be back in a bit. Okay, um, <clears throat> may this ring <laughs> remind us of this moment <laughs> <laughs> and of the commitment that I have made to you. You have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of witnesses, family and friends. Therefore, I now have the pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife. <laughs> You may now kiss the bride. It is now my privilege and pleasure to tell you you are now husband and... <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you have got to be kidding me! You're not even supposed to have installed it yet. Why is it so loud? Let's just ignore it, OK? We'll just carry on. Just carry on, please. Sorry? Just carry on. Just say husband and wife. Just husband and wife. Husband and wife! Well, I don't care what I said. I want somebody over here now switching this thing off, OK? Well, where are they? Excuse me. No, 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 no. No, you, you can't go nowhere till you've married us. I'm sorry. Give us five minutes. Five minutes. Ironic, isn't it? The fire alarm, given when you two got together. Tell me this isn't you. I am sorry. I had to try it one last time. I mean, you've seen how desperate she is to get married. She is going to take you for everything. Do you really think I'm going into this with my eyes closed? I'm going to say this to you once again. Charity is going to be my wife and the mother of my child. Now, just back off. This was you, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. Robbie, go and put Noah in the car now. Why, what are you going to do? Nothing. For God's sake, it's my wedding day. Megan. Mm. <laughs> no, the head! No, the head! Oh, leave her. Megan! Leave her. She's pregnant for crying out loud. <sighs> this ends now. Charity, never lay a finger on my sister again. Megan, we are getting married. If you don't like it, you can leave. Right then, shall we? Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, it's from Debs. It says, wish you were here. Hey, listen. If you want to go over there, we can. Or we could go into town, to a restaurant. No. 
Tonight is about us, so we're staying put, OK? Wow. Check that out. Hey. Don't be getting any ideas, will you, Megan? I've heard what you like when you get one of Declan's brides near a cake. Well, they might see it young, Charity. Yeah? Well, you try it, you'll be back on those crutches permanently. <laughs> what are you staring at? Remember when you were a kid and you used to say, I don't know, but if I had a gun, I'd shoot it. I never said that. I did. All the time. <sighs> Seriously, what? Tell me again. We wait, he leaves, I keep watch, you go in, you find the gear and we go. No. Tell me again why. Because he's not going to report it and he deserves it. I don't know, why are you asking again? Not why him, why you? I've told you, never done anything wrong. Always by the book, always done what's right. Scum like him get away with murder and get rich. You see that every day. You realise crime does pay. Simple as that. Yeah, just go on now, he's going to be back any second. You come in. No good keeping a lookout from here. Need you outside the house. Just, just go. You first. <sighs> Aren't you going to wait out front? Where everyone can see me. Well, you need to keep a lookout in case he comes back. Yes, I know that, but I'm not going to do it in the street, am I? In full view. If I spot anything, I'll text you. I might not hear a text. Then I'll shout then. Someone else will hear. What? Are you getting cold feet? Do I need to call this off? Call this off? That sounds official. In fact, you sound like a copper oh, donor. Oh, God's sake, let's just get in there. What is that? Were your little mates are hiding? Who? Your cop mates. I know this is a fit-up. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Just please just keep your voice down if you don't get in there now. Oh, what? Your filth mates are going to be wondering if the plan's gone wrong. Plan? To stitch me up. I stand to lose a hell of a lot more than you do. Why would I be setting you up? Someone heard you shooting your mouth off in the pub last night about how you were oh, gunning for me. for God's sake, what was I supposed to say? Yeah, we're planning a job. That's why I was talking to him. Think, Ross. Oh, whatever. You can tell your cop mates that your plan went belly up. Look, look, look. There's, there's no wire, there's nothing, there's no, no, no backup, no setup, nothing. Okay? Just me. Please, let's just do this and go. Oh, forget it then, we don't have time to argue. Nasty piece of work. Well, this idiot leaves the key under a rock in the back garden. This isn't a joke, Ross. No. I guess it's real. I'm gonna check for it. This is pointless. Look, I'm taking this and then I'm gone. It's not what we came for. To find the gear and get out. Who the hell are you? Uh, you know what it's like, mate. She can't keep her hands off me. Leave now. Keep up the act. He's still looking. I can get used to this. It's a pretty weird route home, Sam. Where are we going? You'll see. Wait, can you just slow down? Can you not drive so fast, please? We might miss it. Right, you can pull in and tell me where we're going. Right now, I mean it. <sighs> Sam! 
train station. Well, what for? Are we picking someone up? You're worrying me now. I'm getting the train to Liverpool. What? From the ferry to Ireland and then to Uncle Mikey's. No, I'm not off to Ireland. It's what Dad and Lisa want. Well, I'm in court tomorrow. Yeah. That's exactly where we're going. Sat, love. Clear the table so I can lay it. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, they're all coming, then? Yeah. Last night we'll spend with her in God knows how long. Yeah. Let's make it really good. Something for her to remember. Oh. Maybe do with more spuds. Zark? What is it? Where is she? You what? What are you doing here? Already gone. Is that it? You can't just barge into our home like that. What the hell do you want? I know what you're all planning. Belle's running away. Are you joking? She's with Charles. She'll be back here any minute. Yeah, that's right. Neither of you know anything about it. Just found this. Three tickets. Sam Sampson and our Belle. Train from Connelton. <gasps> hey, well, what are you doing? What do you think? Oh, please, Dom. It'll only make things worse. We can work it out, please. Give me the police. If they catch them, she'll be in more trouble than she is now. Sam, answer your framing phone. We have to stop them. Hmm? Yeah, Connelton Station. So what is it? You're going to help them get away? No. But Belle needs me. And I'm damned if you're going to stop me getting to her. Strange too. And are you sure this is what Mum and Dad wants? I said so, didn't I? Well, are they meeting us out there or why haven't they mentioned anything to me? I, I don't know. I don't get it. Oh, has something happened? Why do I have to leave all of a sudden? I'll tell you all about it on the train. No, now. Oh, right, the, the three of us are going. We're going to start a new life. No one will find us and you won't have to go to prison. So Mum and Dad aren't coming. They're planning on taking you anyway, but they'd have to shift their own lives, split the family. So, so I made my mind up we're going instead. I've booked tickets and I've got enough money to tide us over. What, so they don't even know? No, this is completely mad. Samson losing everything he knows, his entire family. I don't want that. What's safe for you anyway? But what's safe for any of us? No, you're not just doing this for me, are you? You want to leave. It's not felt like home since Rachel went. But as long as I've got some somewhere, we can go anywhere. The three of us. We're getting on a train or what? Hang on, son. I have to face what's coming. No, you don't. The way you feel about Rachel, that is what I'll be doing to Mum and Dad, just running off without saying a word. Oh, Bell, no, no, listen. I know you want what's best for me, and I'm so grateful, but it is not what I want. And it's not going to bring Rachel back, Sam. What the hell are you doing, hey? Get hey, your hands off him! Don, mm. please! No more fighting. What on earth did you think you were doing? Same as you. You were going to take her away. Well, we'd never have gone through with it, love. No, it was stupid. Uh, no, we saw that. Doesn't matter what you saw. They were doing a runner. She wasn't. She, she wouldn't come. I've been trying to make it. We were coming home. Well, Dingle, you must be Sam. Look, no one here has done anything wrong. Tell them you made a mistake. Nine o'clock ferry to Dublin. Sam, Samson, all right, son, and Bell Dingle. I thought you were supposed to be in court tomorrow. I, I, she, she didn't know anything. We, we were just going up. It's the truth, honestly. Yeah. I was just taking her home. Belle Dingle, I'm arresting you for breaching your bail condition. You heard him, she didn't know. She thought they were going for a drive. You do not have to say anything, but it may She'd harm your defence like if that. you do I not swear mention to God. when questioned Zach, something do which something. you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand, Belle? You, you can't take her away. Oh, she won't be alone. Sam Dingle, I'm arresting you for attempting to pervert the course of justice. 
You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Dad? Don't worry, love, we'll come and get you. It's all right, son, I'll be fine. You happy now? What good has this done anyone? You're all right, love. Your dad's just going to go and talk to them for a bit. I've got you. Bell's underage. We're going to need an appropriate adult. Yeah, I'll come. Okay. Someone needs to look after Samson. Mr Dingle? Uh, don't worry, I'll bring her home. Marriage is a precious gift. And like a good wine, it gets better with age. And they both like a drop of that. Shh. Eric and Val, you two know as well as any how marriage is a daily challenge to love and understand each other more fully. Be your snacks. Oh, this is killing me. I ask that you each give you a special massage after. And respect one another. And be able to forgive each other and not hold grudges. And most of all, be there to give each other love, comfort and refuge in good times and bad. I understand you've written your own vows. That's right. What? <laughs> I haven't written any. I only heard about this five minutes ago. Val was hoping you'd be able to uh, speak from the heart. Say whatever it is you're feeling. Just the first thing that comes to mind. That's all I want to hear. <clears throat> never been my strong point. Talking about feelings, never had any worth remembering. <laughs> Until you came along. And now, I have it all. Anger, jealousy, frustration, fear. But most of all, love. And now I have her back. And I'm complete. Last few months have uh, been a bit of a whirlwind. <laughs> Uh, uh, and yesterday, if I had to imagine my life without you, I wouldn't have minded if the parachute hadn't opened. Because our time apart has taught me that sometimes you have to lose what you love most before you realise that's all you ever wanted. And so, Valerie, thank you for giving me another chance. Thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. I vow to love, honour and adore you till the day I die. We both know the reasons why we've been apart, but... <clears throat> My vows. Never to take you for granted again. Never to empty your savings account and disappear into the night. <laughs> <laughs> Never to do anything without you by my side. I vow to understand you and care for you. So, Eric Pollard, please, please always be my husband. Checking in on Samson's sports day. I, th I thought they'd be ages yet. How could they have decided already? It's barely been an hour. Well, maybe it's a good sign. Maybe they, they all say that she can't be guilty. Please stand. Foreman of the jury, have you reached verdicts upon which you are all agreed? We have. Oh, God. 
Please, please, please let her go. In relation to count one murder, how do you find the defendant? Not guilty. <laughs> yes. Shh. In relation to count two, manslaughter, how do you find the defendant? Guilty. Mrs. Dingle, Mrs. Mrs. Dingle, please. Shame on you, Mrs. Dingle, Mrs. Mrs. Dingle. Shame on you, Mrs. Dingle, please. Mum, Dad, look, look, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Well, you have been found guilty of manslaughter. No. You will be remanded in youth custody until the sentencing can take place. Just stay right. Come on, sir. Mm. No, don't no, don't go. Get off me. No, 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 get off me. Get off me. Get off me. It's going to be fine. Just go with the dad. I promise I'm going to be fine. No. 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 You don't mind? Well, no, don't be daft. Oh, thanks for coming, lad. It'll mean a lot to all of us. Thank you to both the prosecutor and the defence for their final remarks. Belle, I have no doubt you are genuinely remorseful for what you have done. I'd like to thank Mr Andrews for his comment, if not perhaps the manner in which they were delivered. And I should say that my sentencing has been greatly swayed by Mr Andrews' impact statement. Naturally, I have given a great deal of consideration to the sentencing in this case. There is, as you know, a maximum sentence available, which is custody for life. However, in this instance, I do not believe that such a term would be appropriate. Bell Dingle, I'm sentencing you to three years in youth custody. Please take her down. He can't do that! He can't do that! That's too much! Not my bell! Dad, please listen to me. I am telling you right now that I'm going to be okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about me! I love you! Sorry. <sighs> All right, Dad. Yeah, I just needed a walk, you know. Yeah, um, me too. You're in the van, son. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I, I just needed to get out, that's what I mean. Uh, see you later, son. Just to see you. Tell me you're not leaving, eh? So I'm going to move on. I'll have Vanessa send the rest of my stuff when I know where I'll be. I'm not like this. Today of all days. I'm sorry, Zach. I really am. All this happened. We both know it could have been the other way around. Well, at least let me buy you a pint. Eh? One for the road. Please. You mean a lot. You have one for me. Hmm? Tell Bella I'll be thinking of her, yeah? Oh, Dom, I am so, so sorry. No more of that. We've got to get on and live our lives, yeah? For Belle. And Gemma. There is still time, you know, to find some happiness again. Promise me that, that you, you won't be alone. She'll be back home before you know it. You'll be OK. I know you will. Tell you? No, he didn't. Oh, Dom. Oh, oh cute! <laughs> hey, it was liking that. Yeah, well, you'll love this. Huh? Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> that is quality. That's the best I've seen him looking. On more. Yeah, next. And well up for this. No, no, don't feast you. Yeah? <laughs> well, we didn't get this bag. Just give it a minute. Yeah, well, yeah, and the shake, the little two shots. Well, you always have to give me a hard time. Who's that? It's Dad. Well, I'll never give you a hard time because you're hardly ever here. That's Mum. Mum. Right. Turn it off, yeah. me for working all hours to provide for you and the kids. Are you sure it's all hours? Because I thought you'd found time for other things too. I don't even remember so advice. Now I drink too much. I have a few pints. <laughs> a couple of times a week. What, down the pub? No, in the tree. Off, now. I doubt you've been to the pub in weeks. Finn, give it to me now. No, oh, Dad, it's only an argument. Just sit down. I want to hear her. You're talking rubbish. Oh, come on, you're smelling of something. But it isn't beer. I'm going to bed. Hours? Are you sure you remember the way? It's nonsense coming out of your mouth. You don't have any trouble finding her, though, do you? No, I am a... You had no trouble finding mine, Miss Bird, did you? Did you? Problem? I don't loose bales. Needs re-threading. Do you need a hand? No, I've got it. A brew would be good though if you're making one. Oi! Nobody doing any work around here. You're drunk. Go home. You go home. Except you don't have one though, do you? Don't move it! Hold it there! Stay steady! Whoa, 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 whoa! You alright? You alright? Get an ambulance now! I swear, I, I didn't see him, I didn't know he was there! Just do it! It's stuck, I can't move it! Don't try to. It's gonna be fine, mate, I promise. There you go. Ambulance! I don't know, mate. Never here. I've been trying to keep him awake. He keeps on blacking out. His name's Andy, is it? It is, mate. Can you hear me, Andy? When did he start losing consciousness? About five, ten minutes ago. But can you keep back, please? Does he have any medical conditions we need to know about? I don't know. Is he um, haemophilic, diabetic? No, no. Right, if you'll leave it to us, sir. What happened? He was trying to fix a hay bale. What, has anyone phoned Diane? Not yet, but... Oh, well, she needs to know. No, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll phone Bernice as well. How the hell did it happen? Is he okay? Yeah, he's, uh... Just a bit in shock, that's all. What's happened? It's Andy. He's caught his arm in the bailer. Did he badly hurt? But we don't know. They're trying to get him out now. How did it happen? Sorry? You were. We just started it up. I didn't know it was there. Who's we? Me. It was me. I know I keep asking. But are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? Well, you're drinking alone in the middle of the day. You've almost polished off a whole bottle. And quite frankly, you've got a kind of crazy woman vibe going on. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I'm hunky-dory. And you're coming out with phrases like that. I'll have another bottle, please. Have you spoken to Andy? No. Giving him space. Right, I will go and get you a coffee. Oi, Katie. What are you playing at? Shouldn't you be with your horsey mates checking out posh blocks in tight joddy? Oi, Bernice! Ow! Whoa, 
Get off her! Dirty little skin! Oh, help me! You couldn't get your hands oh. off him, could you? Well, it was my turn! Get off me! Oh, my. Please, get off me, all right? Nothing happened! Liar! Oh. Get off her! Oh. Oh. You like that? Bernice! You! You need some space, did you? Space enough to suck her face in the middle of the street! Bernice, calm down! I'm sorry, all right? You better run! Katie! Don't talk to her. Don't even look at her. Andy! So when do we go public? Thanks, Bob. Um, he's the nicest bloke that you'll ever meet, and I know he's going to make you very happy. Well said, Chas. Thank you, everybody. Wasn't that nice? Oh, hello. <laughs> Would you like to say something? Maybe tell us who you are. I'm Kev. Kerry's husband. She's married to me. Mate, today's the last day I'd be in the mood to have my chain yanked. What are you doing? You can't just turn up to somebody's wedding act and all weird, just take the flipping hint. Are you a stalker or something? Well, I've told you what I am. Ask her. He's off his head. <laughs> Do you know him or not? I did. We had a thing for about a month or something, and clearly it meant a little bit more to him than it did to me. No, it meant the same to both of us, which is more or less nothing. Well, that does not know what happened. Well, that I've moved on and you didn't? I can't believe you're being like this. Right to my face, to his. Well, it's not me that gigged in on your wedding day. Look, don't talk about me like I'm not here, mate. My little competition win. Remember it. I won a trip to Hollywood in some film magazine, you know, for two. Had a mate line to come up, but uh, anyway, you did. I do know. I did the Chinese theatre, you know, Disneyland, all that lot. Part of the prize was a trip through the desert. Remember? <sighs> Stopped at this little ghost town place. It was dead boring. You know, Japanese tourists were lapping it up, but we stayed on the coach. We had a load of beers, and so we started drinking. This is sounding more plausible. We carried on for hours. We're still necking cans when we got to our final stop. Las Vegas. Oh, Lord. We staggered off the coach. Somebody must have took my bags. And didn't remember that bit. And you said, hey, Kev. Get this for a brilliant idea. Yes, but, but we were just messing about. We were in and out in no time. Yeah, we were a few minutes, and I have spent years looking for you. And in all of that time, me and my Edith have been desperate to get married. I mean, I might never have found you if it wasn't for this clown posting his proposal on YouTube. You call it a clown. Uh, let's take it easy. Right, this smells like trouble. So yeah, yeah, I'm mentally unstable. You know, I am off my rocker, is what I am, and it's you that's made me this way, so don't you try and deny it. Hey, don't, don't you dare turn your back on me when I finally felt. Are you listening? Oi, are you listening to me? Uh, Get off her! Uh, oh. No, 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 that's enough. What a surprise if that kicks off and you're straight in there. Hey! I'm trying to help. I don't want your help. And you, stay away from her. I wish I had. She's ruined me life. Yeah, you're ruining mine. Yeah, she's do something about it. And you do something about it. Leave. No, no, Ali, quiet. Well, who are you? I'm his ex. Oh, are you sure? Maybe they're both a couple of bigamists. Well, not one of them. Oh, so what do you call it, then? A drunken mistake. That's all it was, Dan. It was years ago, and it was a, it was in Las Vegas, and it doesn't really count. Of course it counts. The box off his nuts. How about me nut? At least I didn't marry a sober. Right, I'm going to get my bat out if this carries on. No, 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 no. Stop me! Leave it, me. Break it up! Break it up! Break it up! This is over as of now. Arrest her! We need a bit more to go on than that. In the meantime, you're under arrest for a fray. You do not have to say anything. But it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Oh, Don't get married. That's why. I'm just trying to sort it out here. You can't do this. Me wedding reception. I paid for the buffet. That was just a bit of something and nothing. Can't you just let him go with a ticket off? The duty sergeant can if he sees fit. What? Have you seriously not got anything better to do? Is this where you say something boring like catch some proper criminals? Oh, of course, a proper criminal. Uh. I'm just trying to sort my life out. Yeah, well, someone's going to do that for all four of you now. You'll do well to sort mine. 
Look, I'll lose her again. She'll run away. Ow. Mate, I was the peacemaker. I could tell that from the way you were swinging your fist. Ah. I'm a soldier, all right? More shame on you. Come on. No, no, In. listen to me. Someone listen. at the station will be more than happy to. Oh, I want to divorce. Get in line. Dad! Don't worry. It's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Don't worry. Interesting thing. You know what? Being in a bit bigger for the north and being honest. Probably just need some air. I haven't even had that much. Come on, let's get you outside. Sorry, our coats. Oh, you don't need your coat. You're all right, mate. There you go. Come on, I just feel a bit weird. Oh, you good? You've only had one thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, good lad. Come on. Easy does it. Oh, come on, that looks nice good. and steady. Come on. Oh, but I need to. Oh, only had one. Come on, Finn. There you go. Get in there, lad. Let's go. It'll be home in five minutes. You don't know where I live. Yeah, I do. Some idiot put my window in, aren't they? Not just now. If I knew that, I would have had them, wouldn't I? Have you got a motor in it? No, I haven't. What's that noise then? Before we have no time for an ambulance. Finn, you'll be nice. Just hurry up, eh? Put your flame in here. What have you done to yourself, eh? Craig! I need to talk to you a minute. Where's Katie? Adam. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm getting Katie back. I'm stealing her back. Yeah, well, this'll do it. Look, here she comes now. <laughs> She's not here. Don't, don't, don't you cover for her. She left hours ago. We were good together, you know we were. So you'll be quite drunk then. <laughs> Is this because of what I said earlier? Because you weren't exactly charming to me either. You need some coffee in your bed, mate. Oh, Adam, what's going on? I'm with you. <laughs> no, so you can laugh at him some more. No, I don't think he's drunk. <sighs> I think he does a hell of an impersonation. <laughs> Adam! Adam! Oh, Adam, you're right, darling. Well, this isn't right. Can we do something? Yeah, hi. Uh, right, everything. look at me. Look at me. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. What is wrong with him? What do you think? Some ketamine goes missing. He turns up like this. He hasn't taken ketamine. Well, he hasn't got like this from beer, has he? We well, never do drugs, not after Holly. Come on, oh, come on, come on. Get him on his side, all right? Get it out. Moira, just stay calm for him, OK? What's happened? He just collapsed. Hello, 
there, May. What's your name? Adam, he's my son. Obviously. Adam, can you hear me? Adam, hello? He was just standing here, disoriented, like he was drunk and then he threw up, collapsed and had some kind of fit. And what's he taken? We don't know. We've a decent idea. What's happened? Adam just collapsed. So what's your decent idea? I think he might have taken ketamine, but he wouldn't have done that. Can you try to sell me some today? You sat there when the police came. Hey, what was your name? I said, what would you have done? I told him doing this was a really bad plan. Yeah, and I told him try to sell it was. I know I did he'd take it. Now, who's riding with us? Uh, I am. Kane. We'll drive. Uh, it's best if it's just the one. You come with us. I got stuff to sort out first. It's all right, sweetheart. You'll be all right. Donna, hi. Good to see you again. Not that good to see you. No offence. Well, I'm taken. I wouldn't want to see me either. This is my ex-husband. She thinks I need to get out more. <laughs> it's supposed to be my moral support. Excellent. Well, let's uh, dive straight in, shall we? Tell me, how are you feeling in yourself? Are there any new or unusual symptoms? OK, nothing I can think of. And your breathing? Same. Aren't you going to tell me about... What? Yesterday. Paddy might have mentioned it. Oh, I knew you were acting weird. I could kill him. I kind of collapsed. I didn't have the strength to get back up on my own, but it passed by. I was fine afterwards. It happens sometimes. So that's normal? Yeah, to me. Can we just get the results, please? When you saw Dr Sultan, he explained to you about how quickly things were progressing. Yeah. I'm afraid it hasn't changed. Why? I'm very sorry, but it's not good news. The cancer... It's spread. From your diaphragm... and into your upper abdomen. Since my last scan? It's much more aggressive than before. You're fully into stage four now. Stage four? What's stage five? There is no stage five. Doing it. Why are you trying to ram into that bloke's car? I mean, you got to trust me on this one, all right? No, Adam. Look, if I don't stop that car, then what? Okay? Who's going to die? Just, just listen to me, OK? I promise you, this isn't like last time. You don't have to look out for me anymore. Sorry, mate. I think I do. I'm copper. Arrest me! No! <laughs> no! Go! OK, stop it, stop it, stop it, please. It's my badge, OK? Right, now, bent or not, the last thing you need is to be messing with a copper. So just let us go. You'll never hear from us again. Where's the envelope? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You're working for him, aren't you? Hey? I might have known Gary would have a copper on the payroll. Luca. No. No. Stay away from him! Okay. Stay away! Stop it! Stop it! Leave him alone! No, okay, 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 take it, take it! Just leave him alone! You're right, though. Having you two around does make things hard for me. Maybe it'd be better if you both just disappeared. Ah! You take him there, Adam! 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 Do you really think we're going to make much of a difference? Well, we've got to do something. Make a distraction, anything. If you just let me... Club. 
There's one of them outside. You need to get here now. Upstairs! Come on, hurry up! The phone and the envelope. The envelope! They're in here! Oh. Oh, go. Adam, Adam! Wake up! Come on, just leave it, just leave it. Come on, let's go! Come on, come on! Are you all right? Donna, what are they? Donna, was that Adam in that car? Did you see? Donna! I just drive. What are we going to do about those photos? Donna, what are we going to do? There's nothing else we can do. Why do you keep saying that? There's got to be. Right, OK, OK. Gary is just one bloke, so we get another gun and we take care of him. We still got the cash, so we could just get April and get the hell out of here, yeah? No, yeah? No, no. But this doesn't change anything. If we're quick, we can be gone before Gary realizes anything went wrong. No. Why'd you keep saying that? Just why'd you keep saying no? I mean, no, there's nowhere to go. What are you on about? Oh, Donna. Donna, what is wrong? I can't go with you. I can't, I can't. okay. I was never gonna go. I'm sorry. This is it now. This is the end of everything. <laughs> you! I thought I told you. Whoa, well, calm down. You'll have someone's eye out with that. Where's Ross? He's not coming. Neither of the photos. It's over. Believe me, love. It's really not. Back up's on its way. You go into prison. <laughs> and so are you. Maybe. If it even makes it to trial. So you reckon you've got enough proof then? I may have struggled before today. But now all I have to do is convince them to look in that safe. Oh, so you looked, did you? you little nosy Parker. So now you know what I'm capable of. What I'm gonna do to you. Your little girl. April, wasn't it? Shut up! Just shut up! You should have also realised I'm not the sort of bloke who makes a deal like this without my own backup. So, now you've calmed down, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna put that down and you're gonna let me walk away. If I ever have any police knocking on my door, your daughter ends up on a photo like the one you saw today. <laughs> well done. Now, you and me need to work out how we go about fixing this. Donna! Hey, what are you doing? Get off! Hey. Because if he shoots me now, I'm taking you down with me. Wait! Donna! I will not tell you again! Call your man off! No! No, I don't think I will. I might get him to shoot young Ross here, though. Then I'm falling. You'd do that for him, would you? How about you try me? Sounds to me like you're running out of time, Gary. No! You are! Don't you see? All of this, the photos, counts for nothing. No, 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 Donna, don't listen to him. It'll be fine. Just tell the truth. No. Or will the whole case fall apart because of some fairly unscrupulous police work on your part? He's right. There's no other way out. No, no, Donna. Tell Marlon and Bob I'm sorry. Wait. Just wait, Donna. And I'm sorry to you too for lying. Come on. Think about your little girl. I did it today. When I said I didn't love you. How old is she? Four? What's she do without her mum? And you? I just hope this hurts you all the way to hell. Because I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. Please! 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 No! no, 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 no. Right. 
I need to, um, oh, there's someone. It's me mate. You need to report a crime? Yeah. Yeah, arson. Right. It's me mate, he confessed to it. But it wasn't him. It was me. Who have you seen since you've been back in the country? Where have you been staying? Mr. Livesey declines to answer. Was it your mum persuaded you to come clean? Interview paused. If your mother's been covering for you, that's a very serious offence. Interview resumed. Further to briefing from DC Chapman. Do you know Mr. Adam Barton? He's just confessed to starting the fire. Well, he's here. So you better start being honest with me. Because anything you don't tell us, I'll just get from your friend. I was off my head. I just lost my dad and I was mad at Kane because he was the one that split him up. Oh, really? So you were hoping he'd get caught in the fire? Well, no, I don't mean like that. I just... I just wanted him to know how it felt to lose everything, you know? And Aaron, he was just looking out for me, that's all. Everything he told us adds up. He worships the ground that Kane walks on. He always has done. He'd never do anything to hurt him. So Mr. Livesey tried to cover it up, is that what you're saying? Has he put pressure on you to say all this? Look, I was the one that tried to stop him from talking to you. Uh, Aaron's that desperate to come home, he'd do anything. He'd do time just to be near his family. So why not let him? OK, all right. The night you caught him on CCTV. How do you know about that? Because I was the one driving the car. I went to pick him up, Aaron. But he just wanted a few more days at home before we gave ourselves up. So you were harbouring a suspect? I, I was stressed as it was, right? And then this guy, he, he just comes out of nowhere. He just cuts me up on the road and I just lost it. Well, we'll talk about that as a separate issue. No, because you're not getting it. It's all linked, you see? Aaron would have come in sooner. But when we found out that he was wanted in connection with Donna's death, he panicked. But I just want to set the record straight. Aaron's done nothing wrong. So why now? I never realised how badly he needed to come home before. I couldn't let you take the blame, mate. Adam Barton, you're charged with arson. You'll be released on police bail to appear before Hotton Magistrates Court tomorrow. Well, I can go. For now. Aaron Lipsy, you were charged with failure to answer bail and conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. You'll be remanded in custody. What are you talking about? It was me. It don't make it any worse. Get him out of here, will you? That we're with you, OK? I promise. You'll be remanded in custody until trial at Hotton Magistrates Court. Oh, thank God. And then letting you go? For now. You'll be up before the magistrate first thing. You've charged him? I thought it was the right thing to do, Mum. I owe you a massive apology, kid. You've got more guts than anyone I know. Hey, listen, we will get you the best solicitor there is. I'll remortgage if I have to. So where's Aaron? They're keeping him in. Oh, I'm sorry, Chaz, I didn't think it would come to this. Why? No, no, you see, he did the right thing. They both did. He came back, they told the truth. He skipped bail once before. No, no, he did the right thing. He came back. Can you not just put a tag on him or something? With his track record, he gave us an alternative. I'm sorry, Chaz. I'm so sorry. Sick. Do you know that? Debs, please, I'm desperate. Oh, I'm not doing it. You're asking way too much, Mum. OK, if you won't do it for me, do it for Noah. Oh, come on, this is going to break his little heart if this marriage falls apart, which it will, if Declan finds out that I've lied. And what about me and Pete? What if he finds out? He's going to think that I aborted his baby. He won't find out. Oh, how? How do you know? I give you my word. 
Who's that? Oh my God, it's him. Oh my God, oh my God. You can't know that I'm here. Debs, I am begging you now, just do this one thing for me. So the kids behaved themselves last night. You're not spoken to your mum then? No. I need to ask you something. Uh, and it's pretty personal. And I feel really awkward having to ask, but believe me, I had my reasons. I'd really appreciate an honest answer. Okay. So what's this about? Your abortion. Charity told me she took you to have one. Is it true? A yes or a no will suffice. I don't need details. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to know the truth, Debbie. I'm telling you the truth. I haven't got a clue what you're on about. Pete will never find out, I swear. Declan, listen to me. There is nothing to find out. I have not had an abortion. Now, I don't know what this is about, but I'm really sorry. OK. To me, you hate me this yeah, much. I'm sorry, but he deserves the truth. What do I deserve? I'm your mother. Nothing is ever your fault, is it? You haven't just stabbed me in the back here. Do you know what you've done? You've twisted the knife. You... Save it! I don't want to know. But thank you for single handedly destroying my marriage. How long are we waiting, pet? 42 minutes. Okay, that's uh, pretty terminal. Such a shame. I think it was just a bit too soon. I could have decided that before today. I hope you've kept the receipt for that thing. <laughs> they come in. They come in. Finally. Oh. Um, oh. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. It's just uh, Marlon. Hmm. You get married or what? Yeah. Yeah. I fly my lamb. <laughs> well, get on with it then. Right, you are. Yes. So, hey. <laughs> <sighs> You're sure? More than anything in the world. Oh, oh she looks lovely. Please be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to join together in holy matrimony this man with this woman. Once said that love is one soul residing in two bodies. And that's how I feel about you. When you laugh, I laugh. When you cry, I cry. And you're my best friend, my soulmate. And I promise to love you forever. I tried to write some stuff, but ended up just looking for some good quotes on the internet. But in the end, um, the best one was from April last night when I was reading her What a Mess. I wrote it down. She said, um, I love Laurel and I love you. Laurel and you should get married forever and ever because you love each other. And I... I can't think of anything better than that. Fur borrowing canes, but this lot turned out to be toxic for the cow. <laughs> toxic <laughs> confetti, thank you. Well, oh. And speaking of cousins, you've just gained a couple of hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a dingle. Hey. Why do people say that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> Not a word, you. <laughs> Is everything all right? I mean, really all right. It's just that it seemed a little bit touch and go back there. And not that we were listening or anything like that. It is now, yeah. I just need to 
try to talk to the future, you know? We've all still got work to do. Welcome to marriage. <laughs> right. Deserted. They haven't looked properly yet. He's not here. You have one new message. Bobby, listen, I can't get hold of you, Mum. If you're with her, I need you to tell her that I believe it, okay? Mum is missing and I think Declan might have done something. I've just got an address. Just please get her to call me. It's a message from Debbie. What does she want? She's, she's freaking out. She knows Charity's missing. How? I don't know. She wants our help. Well, don't call her back. Serves the right for not listening. You said if we didn't find anything, we'd report what we found at the house. I must have taken the wrong turn off. I'm gonna go down this path till we get to the next clearing. Mum! I went too far, okay? I was trying to play you at your own game. I never meant to hurt you. I was just angry about the baby. I know that you lied. But I still love you. Come out and we'll talk.
I'd like to see you get home without me. We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't think you want to take me home. You got that right. You need help. Don't you try and talk me down. What are you doing? Just think about it. I thought you loved me. And I thought you weren't a psycho. You haven't got the guts to kill me. I haven't got the guts not to. No! No, no! So this was the plan, was it? Bring me away and finish me off. Pretty much. Because the pesticide didn't hit the spot. I was trying to do it gently. Noah got in the way. You nearly killed my son. You killed mine. It was just a line on a stick. It was no more than that. You never let it be more. You know, I gave you everything. In the hope that we would be a family. We were a family. You know, if you didn't want it, you could have walked away. I wanted you. You wanted the money. Yes, so I took it. But I don't deserve to die for it. I'll tell you what you deserve to die for. Making me fall in love with my child. Letting me believe I had a future. Coming down those stairs, telling me you were bleeding. Holding my hand while we waited to hear the heartbeat. Watching me grieve when you knew there was nothing there. I was doing it to protect you. How could you be so cruel? You might want to look at yourself right now. You think I'm a psycho? For what I'm doing today. This is the sanest I've been for months. Where are we going? Declan, please, can we go home? We'll get a divorce like normal people. And I won't fight you. You can have everything. You'd let me get away with this, yes. would you? Yes! Yes! You'd have me banged up before I could blink. No! Listen, that's gonna happen anyway. Look at it. My blood's everywhere. It's all over the cottage and the car. What are you going to tell everyone that I just bled and vanished? Well, maybe I'm past caring. No, listen to me. You don't really want to hurt me. Look at me. You're angry, I know you are, but if you wanted to do it, you'd have done it by now. You ruined everything. No! No, I saved you. How can you forget that I built you back up from nothing? You manipulated me into fraud, made me hurt innocent people. And you loved every minute. I just had a breakdown. Yeah, well, you got over it pretty quick, didn't you? You could have let me go then. It was too late. You knew exactly what you were getting into. You knew exactly what you wanted from me. I loved you. And I love you. Full, proper love. Please, Declan, can we just go home and sort this out? Oh, no, 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 no. I screwed up. All right, I know I did. And I don't expect you to forgive me. Come on, let me go. We could try again, you know, we could have another baby. Don't insult me. <laughs> I'll do anything. I should have stayed in that fire. I should never have listened to a word you said. Why couldn't you have left me alone? Because you needed me. Everything was so clear at Christmas. I'd made up my mind. 
And then there you were. Do you remember what you said to me? Hmm? You said there's always a way out. There is. And you know, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe you did build me back up. You made me stronger, tougher, more ruthless, more like you. Didn't need much encouragement, did you? Oh, I thought it meant something. I thought we were supposed to be together. I thought that I had to lose everything in order to get what I really wanted. That's how it felt for me as oh, well. Oh, no, you were just on the tape. No, no, I was heartbroken and I needed someone. Come on, we both did. You were a lying, grasping bitch. And yet you managed to fall in love with me as well. There isn't always a way out. Not for you. This is a dead end. And do you know why? <laughs> why? Because I can't trust myself not to let you wheedle your way back no, in. No, this isn't you. Oh, yes, it is. You see, you made me this way. Aren't you proud? Every lie. Every false promise has brought us here. I only lied about the miscarriage. Everything else was real. Only! That was everything that I cared about! You killed our baby and you covered it up! When you went in that clinic, you dug this grave. OK, you know what? Congratulations, you managed to scare the life out of me now. Please, just... Can we go home? Get back down. <laughs> Get lost. Don't make it harder for yourself. Just let me go. Kneel! Down! No! You want to go on a boat trip? Where exactly is it you think you're going? I should thank you. This is a great idea. By the time they dredge the lake, there'll be no sign of a struggle. We need to retrace our steps and search the other side. No, no more searching. Look, I know that I said I'd report it, but we can't get the police involved until we've got a better idea. They're already involved. Sorry. I told there'd be everything. What Declan said on the phone, the state of the house. The police are probably there by now. Why? You've got to let this go. He's lost it. I can't let him drag you down too. I was trying to help him. He doesn't deserve it. Why can't you ever listen to anything that I asked? Yeah, he would let you rot in jail. Mummy's out here trying to bury his wife. Yes, because we're too late. Well, and that's our fault. No, I shouldn't have talked you out of me coming. 
I mean, we should have been here hours ago. You can't blame that on me. You've never respected either of us, have you? You always think you know best, and now this. I had to tell them. They would have thought we was helping them if I didn't. You've already been arrested once. Just go back to the car. I'm better off on my own. No, just go. Can't bear to look at you. No, 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 no. Megan, 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 Robbie, you've got to help me. Thank God she's okay. She doesn't look okay. <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself with that thing. Megan! Let's get a unit down to the lake and see what the fireworks are all about. Wait! Robbie said they're all searching the woods. That's where you should all be going. Did Robbie say they found anything? There's no signal, is there? We don't know what they might have found. PC Evans will continue here. Hold on! You can't just give up on Mum and go off somewhere else! The woods stretch right down to the shore of Kilbeck Water. We're not giving up. I think she set that flare off. Who knows? I'm not waiting here. Megan! Declan! Stop it! She's not worth it! Okay. Robbie! <gasps> Robbie! No! 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 <laughs> How terrifying. Maybe I should just give up. No! Just accept it! Yeah! Oh my god! Robbie! Robbie! Declan! You gotta find him! Please! You killed him! You killed him! You killed him! To base, requesting search and rescue to Kilbeck Water, North Shore. An ETA on that ambulance might be nice too, Robert. You've got to help me, my son's in the water. You must be Megan. Yeah. Megan, can you talk me through what happened? He jumped in the Man. water, swam out of the boat. Please, he's badly hurt, he's drowning. No! Get him away from her! Why you didn't you listen to me? Ah! Get her! Ah! No! Get away from her! Get off me! You killed Robbie! There's no way out of this. I told you. What, you think you're stronger than me, do you? You think I made you more ruthless? Stop fighting! so massive there's no room for my bladder. She's still going straight to boys' mail. Oh, do a risk driving home. Don't suppose Nicholas got a she wee, has she? I could try Rodney, I suppose. No, I can feel another one brewing. Oh, mine's two sugars if you're making a cup. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. Have you been listening at all? I'm trying to phone Nicola. I don't understand why you just didn't tell her. <sighs> because... However hard she tries, she's never going to appreciate what it feels like to create a baby and then have to sign it away. You didn't really create anything, to be fair. Me and Greg did when we picked out the donor. It's not our fault there was a mistake. OK, so I'm a mistake. It still feels like quite a lot to get your head round. <sighs> You're making me nervous now, Jimmy. I'm going to pay another visit where you put your name on that form. <sighs> and frankly... I think you should call marriage guidance as well. No, me and Nicola always have these blips. It's a running theme. I think the baby's probably better off out of it. <laughs> oh! Oh, my God, is something happening? Oh. oh! I don't know without my pregnancy manual. OK, oh. uh, nobody panic. Um, I should run you to the hospital. Uh, no, I should be timing the contraction. Oh. Oh. How far apart are they? What? They're pretty much all the time. I... I'm transitioning. Oh. Hey. From first to second stage. Don't you know anything? Oh. Nicola headbutted me with contraction. It was all pretty hazy after that. She, she says she's transitioning. Okay. Uh, little puffs through the mouth. I know. 
I know. I'm supposed to be sniffing jasmine now. It says on my birthing plan. Who's jasmine? It's an oil from the flower natural pain reliever. I think we've got some balsamic somewhere. No, don't go. No. Why the hell is no. my car still here? Ooh. Can I see the baby's head? Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, 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 I wish Greg was here. Hey, don't you love? Men are unreliable like that. So you face up the better. Yeah, shut it down onto that for me. Oh, we were going to put the birthing pool. Yeah, well, things never work out. I nearly dropped Angelica in the shop. Is that ambulance coming? They said five minutes, ten minutes ago. I can't hold it back anymore. I'm going to have to push now. She's already pushing. Where the flipping heck are you? Can you see the baby's head yet? Ah! I'm really sorry. I've had an accident on your own. I don't know. I'm not at the business end. Ah! Here. Pinch him! How did you like? This is your fault. The proper donor was fine bones, slim built, even did yoga. I'm really sorry. It just really hurts. It's all right. You're far less abusive than Nicola was. Oh, yeah, I think the head's about to pop. Oh. And he came to get the papers. He didn't want to wait, did you? Oh, <laughs> look at his squishy nose. <laughs> That's definitely Jimmy's. Angel was spared, thank God, but I think Carl might have got her share. At least to know that, though. If he grows up big and obsessed with lorries, I can say it's from his dad. Yeah, I I'd like that. And clumsy. Hands like shovels, so you're lucky I was around. Is dad coming in the ambulance? Yeah, go on then. Uh, well, I've got to clean up. You'll only get in my way. <laughs> I'll take the baby. Oh, you... Uh... Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry what I've done. I can't believe you actually here. Yeah. I'm here. I would have come sooner, but I was scared. I, I didn't know what to say to you. Bobby. No. 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 It wasn't your fault. I killed him. It was Charity. She did all this. Look, she pushed you to it. I hated her so much. Yeah. Well, none of that matters now. We've got each other. We can fix this. We can, we can move away. We can start again. We're not going to let her win. I thought that you'd hate me. I thought you'd never want to speak to me again. We're family. We stick together. Everything I've done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what the worst thing is? That she turned me against you, my sister. That's why you're right. That's why I can't let her win. I love you, Megan. You know that, don't you? I love you too. And I will never hurt you. You know that, don't you? 
to say it. Please, I want you to say that you trust me and that you know I will never hurt you. Why? Just say it, please. I trust that you'll never hurt me. I want you to remember that. Whatever happens. No. Turn around. Declan, no. I'm sorry. Open the door. Uh, Harriet's very sorry she couldn't come. Uh, oh, thank you. She's a wedding in Robles. Hello. Hiya. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but it's Charity here. Is everything OK? Does somebody want to tell me what's going on? Well, we got a text from her saying to meet her here. Yeah, we all did. Declan, please! What? No! Stay back! Don't get back! Don't get back. Well, now, everyone stay where they are, and nobody gets hurt. What have you done to Mum? You stay back and you'll find out. I'm going to tell you everything about her. Everything. Mum! Where's your key? Oh. I can see her, she's on the floor. <laughs> Somebody. So you're alive then? I think he drugged me. I've seen the picture. Oh, guys, Declan is back, isn't he? Yeah, we know. He's told us a few things. No, no, come on, take it easy, Sam. Oh, Dad, I need to see it. Take it easy. I need to see it. Sam, calm down, I think. How could you do it? What? How could you do that to Rachel? What? We know everything Declan's told is what you did! How you made Rachel go away! Oh, no! Oh, no! Please! I am begging you, no more lies. No, I don't know what you're talking about. He's told us everything, love. It's over. No, 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 wait, 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 wait a second, right? Do you not see what he's trying to do here? Well, this is it. This is his final revenge. He, he, he couldn't kill me, so now he's trying to set me up for the fire. Don said it were you. Well, he was probably paid to say that. Stop lying, Mum. Just stop lying. I'm not, I'm not. I know this is true. No. Because no. I know you. And I know what you're capable of. You've just proved that you don't care about your family. Debs, I promise you that's Mom, not true. Mum, please, stop. OK, it's over. So just admit this once that you have lied. I'm sorry. It wasn't meant to work out like this. Sammy, I tried to protect you, but you were supposed to run away together and then everything would have been fine. Where is she? I don't know. Where is she? I don't know! I swear to you, don't you think I would tell you if I knew? Tell him what you said to her. <laughs> I told her to confess to the fire to save you. Sammy, I'm really sorry, but I wanted Jay to suffer for what he did. You hated me that much. You hated me so much that you would take my baby away from me. You know how much I loved him. You get away. And you from wanted me. to take hey, him away from me. Get away Where's from me. I don't know. Where I don't know. Oh, that's enough. It's enough. You are responsible for this. This is your fault. Because you went and slept with it, didn't you? And I loved you, and you broke my heart. No, I didn't. Because it seems to me you haven't got a heart to break. De Declan said he had Rachel's number. Well, then he must have lied. Because, Sammy, he barely spoke to her. Look, I'm really sorry, but my head is wrecked. Do you mean it were all you? 
Yes. Yes, okay. It was all me. I am the Antichrist. Just so we're all aware of that. Leave her, Sam. She clearly doesn't care about you. Actually, you're wrong. Do you know what? That actually tore me apart. Really? Because I, I've not seen much evidence of you being torn apart. Were you torn apart on your wedding day? Or in your honeymoon in Barbados? Or when you stitched Debbie up to save your own skin? What has happened to you? Hey? No, I'm sorry, Uncle Zack. I can't take this anymore. No, I am not about to stand here and listen to a bunch of hypocrites banging on about family loyalty when you know full well that the Dingle Code died the day you tried to... Don't you bring him into this. You did this to Sam for you, for money and for revenge. Oh, come on! So I turned you against someone who wasn't even part of your precious family! It's not like you're going to lose sleep over it, and it wasn't like I had to try very hard. I loved it! Well, there you go then, Sammy. I have saved you years of heartache and disappointment. You're better off alone. So you're happy, are you? Alone. Do you know what, babe? Yeah, I am. Well, there's nothing more to be said then, is there? If that's how you feel. You are not a member of this family anymore. Come on, Sam, leave her. Oh, no, I'm a not a dingle anymore, Uncle Zack. What does that mean? Does that mean that I lose my place around the dinner table? Does that mean I have to give you my badge back? I hate you, Charlie. I hate you. Bye, then. Anything you want to add? I'm going to make you suffer for this. <gasps> more like it. Oh, there is nothing nicer than a big empty threat. Well, do you know what? Bring it on, baby daddy! No, Debs, just wait a sec. Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. No, wait. I'm not going to listen no, to you anymore. You, you understand why I did No! It. You are not going to talk your way out of this one. In fact, you never speak to me again. No, Debs. Well, come on, then. You must have worked out something really nasty to say by now, yeah? What, are you going to beat me up? Hey, do you know what? That might go in my favour. A couple of black eyes might win me back a bit of sympathy. No. No, 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 because that is... That's not the new cane anymore, is it? Cos good guys don't hit women, do they? So what are you going to do? A few more empty threats? Yeah, maybe dunk my head in the sink again, maybe cut the brakes on my car. Ooh! Silent treatment. <laughs> oh, God, I've got to say, that's a bit of a disappointment, Kane. It's a bit... teenage girl, isn't it? God. When did you get so boring, Kane? I swear. OK, listen to me, please. Please don't leave me alone in there. Because he... He might... He might be in there, I mean... He, he could have killed me, couldn't he? He might be in there now. Good. You two deserve each other. Kane, please don't leave me alone! <laughs>
you in. I am so sorry. Please, I'll do anything. Just... Please, just let me go. No way. No death. Death away. No, don't leave me in here. No, don't leave me here. No! 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 Come on! No, no, no. Back off, Sam. Trust me. Look, we, we both want the same thing. To find Rachel and Archie. Will you just let me handle this? So you do know something? The less you know, the better. I, I thought maybe Declan had got here, but... Oh, maybe he does. Hmm? Who knows? You're wasting your time, Sam. And mine. You know where she is, don't you? Charity. Yeah, that's right, I do. I knew it! She knows where Archie and Rachel are! That's right, Sam. And now I've got her locked up. Upstairs. Rachel, too. <laughs> you got me banged to rights. We all done now. Why'd you say they were up here? Oh, come on, Sam. You didn't really think they were up here, did you? I don't know where Rachel is. I don't care where Rachel is. My son, that is all I care about. Well, I'm not stupid. I know something's going on. Give me that key. You're in no state to drive. But where are you going? I'll drive. I don't need some daft sidekick. This is not a game, Sam. Give me that key. Let like, go of me! There isn't anything I would do to get my son back. Do you understand? I just did what I had to do. We're on the same side! Or at least I thought we were. You can trust me, you yeah. know. How do I know you haven't got a locked up? How do I know you're not secretly in touch with Rachel? Because I'm not! But I don't believe you. You're hurting me! I'm sick of being painted as the bad guy. All I want is my son back! I never... It was an accident, right? It's a key. In my pocket. He needs it. What? What? No, I need to what? Frampton's wood. Frampton wood? What about it? Shipping container. Charity. You can't. Dad's still out looking. Well, I'm here for you. Cos you're right about home farm. There's nothing up there to help us. Just don't reckon Declan took her, that's all. Well, he's already tried to kill her. So it makes a lot of sense. Unless there's something that you know that we don't. You do, don't you, eh? What is it? Was it Rachel who took her? No! No, somebody else did, but you know who it is. What do you know? That she deserves it, right? Because she's wrecked everything. Where is she? It's probably too late now, anyway. Listen, brother or not, I will hurt you if I have to. Whatever it takes. Charity, wake up. Charity, wake up. Come on. No, Charity. No, no, no more. No more. No, no more. No, you're safe now. You're safe. You're safe. It's okay. Kate. Yes. Kate, is it? Yeah, it's me. Oh, God, get it off me. Get yeah, we, off we will. We'll just, just stay calm, yeah? Please don't leave me. No, I won't leave. No. Okay. Please. You came to get me. Yes. You're safe now, I swear, okay?
You've got a nerve showing your face. I don't want any trouble. <sighs> Is that some kind of joke? We're quits now. Oh, you reckon, do you? See, I've been doing a lot of thinking recently. It's, it's hard not to when you're all on your own like that. You've had your very last chance, OK? You ever mess with me again, and you won't be able to walk, let alone lift a pint. Cheers for the moral support, by the way. What was all that about? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. Robert. Dan, Victoria, miss me? Do you understand me? Right. Do you like your house? Well, you're moving. This is where you live now. When you're in there, you're going to have a good long think about the hassle your son has been causing. Now, I'm going to go away, and when I come back, you're going to make a phone call. You're going to put a stop to all this, aren't you? What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, Alison Capone here, a new home. Have you lost your mind? You can't do this! You can if you don't care what happens to him. Yeah, I can vouch for that. You didn't have to do this. I've got some fish. He likes kidnapping pets. I also do humans when I need to. Dad! I just think you're gonna like it. I've spent holidays in Torremolinos with three kids and husband. Compared to that, it's a bit like a spa weekend. I think it's gonna be a bit longer than a weekend. There's no windows, not much air, no water, no food, and that over there, that's your toilet. It's like my first flat. I love it. Just all the way, you come here. Come on. Right, feel free to kick her if she moves, or if she doesn't. You know what she's done? I care about what you're doing. This is insane. This is going to be fine. It's going to be fine, Dad, because you're not doing it. Don't tell me I'm not doing it. You don't understand what's going on. Charity! So who are you? Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for your help. I could have outlasted that tin pot hard man. Yeah, I was getting that impression. Right, take me home. I'll give you directions. Uh, yeah, you're not going home. <laughs> oh, I am, love. Right now. <laughs> Still think so, do you? Forget about this. I won't come after you. I think it's telling you to do me a favour. I am. You won't hurt me because you don't want to hurt yourself. A couple of points. I don't need to get hurt though, do I? I mean, look at this. Woohoo! Not tired up, am I? I can bail out whenever I want. In fact, I could pull up now and set this rolling down a hill, give you a little wave as you go. And secondly, you don't know anything about my life, yeah? You don't know how little I actually give a damn about flying through this windscreen, cutting myself to shreds. She's took the keys. Come with this plan together, did you, eh? No, none of this is a plan. This is just craziness. No, no, no. My wife is going crazy. Worrying that Adam's going to end up getting killed. This was going to fix that. No, you just let her off the hook. I haven't done anything. This has got nothing to do with me. What, so, what, what your mum's just trying to get back in your good books or something? No, trust me, it'd take a lot more than that. Right, ring her and tell her to come back here. Adam's life depends on it, and I'm not exaggerating. Maura's really worried about him. Oh, get you and your concern for people. Yes, get me. It's straight to voicemail. What is she doing? So come on then, tell us about this horrible life of yours that makes you want to go through the windscreen. Oh, do you care? No, I don't believe you either. That was my eldest kid back there, you know. I've got two kids and they both hate me. My ten-year-old don't want to live with me and she'll barely speak to me. I could go into the wires, but you might get bored. We don't want that, do we? <laughs> 
You're gonna get us killed. Well, I did say I might. So anyway, before the big fallout, I actually thought my sister-in-law was gonna kill me. And do you know what? I was wrong, it was my husband. Pesticide bottle of wine. And then when that didn't work, he tried drowning me. And then he disappeared, which is really handy for him because, well, we kind of burnt a house down for insurance money. So I'm about this deep in about 50 different kinds of trouble. Sounds like the kind of stuff I get out of all the time. Oh, well, good for you. That guy back there, he's family as well, kind of. I've got a really big family, you need to know that. But you know what? Not a single one of them would pee on me right now if I was on fire. So I've got some big time making up to do. So this seemed like the perfect opportunity. It's not gonna matter if you're dead in a ditch. Nothing will matter if I am dead in a ditch. So you see, it's kind of win-win for me. Literally, I've got nothing left to lose. Stop the car! Stop the car! Just stop the car, will you? I did not know that that led through to here, did you? I'll end it, okay? I'll tell him to stop. You know where we're close to now, don't you? I'll call him now if you've got phone. That big drop. So listen to this. Temper hard man back there. His wife's first husband went over that drop in a Land Rover. He did not end well for him. Are you listening? Yeah, you're gonna call your lad, yeah? I've said I've not. You have, yeah, but the thing is, it's so easy to make a phone call, innit? You ring him up and you tell him to stop it. And then he does, and then I drop you back at home, and then you ring him back and you go, yeah, you know that? Well, carry on, only carry on and do it harder. I won't, I swear. I know that, but I don't trust you. Cos you, you're just a bucket of scum, aren't you? You just filth. Watch it, sweetheart. I could put things right, though. I could fix things, make my kids proud at least. I think the best way of sorting this out is if someone has a word in your lad's ear when he's out uncompassionately for your funeral. You know, tell him that's what you get when you mess with the wrong bloke. It will be you next if you carry on. Hey, what's your favourite film? What? I don't know. I don't have one. Do you know what mine is? Thelma and Louise. Have you seen it? I'll tell you what I want. I want Adam Barton to take another kick in, you know. Because I want the excuse to come round to yours and do some real damage, yeah? <sighs> Make you wish you had gone head first over that drop tonight, yeah? Now go on, run along. Literally! That's your Uncle Carl. He was the one the girls always went for. And now it's Uncle Matthew. He was a right sly old dog. And that's Grandad Tom. He'd have been blown away by you, my last little king. Of course, he'd say all of this was my fault. And he'd be right, as usual. So, let me tell you one thing, Sunshine. Never put your little swimmers in a sperm bank for safekeeping. It's not worth the heartbreak. Oh, I've got so much I need to tell you, son. Don't know where to start. Always get the first rounding, then it's job done. Plus, it's better people owing you a drink. Nobody likes a tightwad. And if you have little brothers, it's not worth falling out with them. However much they make your blood boil, you'll miss them much too much when they're gone. Never skimp on tyres. It's a false economy. <laughs> you buy cheap, you buy twice. And always keep your receipts. <sighs> we'll always be here for you, I promise. Just come and find us. Even if it's 30 years down the line. Wherever we are, that's your home. Yes. You know, I, I don't mean to be cruel, but should 
Should we just get this over with? Yeah. Probably best. Come in. So where is he? He was just there five seconds ago. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean it was... Nicola! I'm gonna have to hide up here for a bit. What? No, you can't. I've got to go back to work. Well, fine. Leave the keys. Colin, you're changing soon. Ring Jimmy and tell him to bring his stuff. Why are you being so shifty, knocking on my door like the house is on fire? And when did you start babysitting Carl? It's just one of those seize the moment things. I mean, it's so awkward and now it's even worse. What was? Nicola, you're not making sense. Well, I didn't mean to, but. I stole the baby. What? Well, you have. Finally lost it. I thought you didn't want anything more to do with him. Well, I can change my mind, can't I? Well, not when it comes to stuff like this, you can't know. Look, I'll explain, but I just need you to help me, that's all. Look, can you get this? It's Jimmy. Well, I make myself an accessory to the kidnap. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do it. Sorry. Nico, pick up. I'm begging you, please. He's due a feed. He needs me. I bet you planned this. You put her up to it, didn't you? You're being paranoid. That's the last thing we do. No, I don't trust either of you. I'm calling the police. No, please, put the phone down. This is kidnap. Do you really think I'm going to let a stranger run off with my baby? I wouldn't let any harm come to him, even so much as missing a bottle. I love him as much as you do. This is what worries me. This is why you do this. If I thought he was in any danger at all, I'd call the police myself. Just let me go and get him right now. Just wait. You're asking me to gamble with my son's life. I'm asking for a chance to put this right. All I need is ten minutes. Surely you could give me that much. Please. If you let me down, if you are one second late... Won't come to that. I promise. How do you think this helps? It's one thing if it meant Jimmy spent more time with Carl, but he doesn't. I haven't come in to be told off. Jimmy, I had nothing to do with this. It's okay? all right, I know. Come on, Nico, we've not got long before she rings the police. I was only thinking of you. I just couldn't stand listening to her break your heart. I know you were, but his mom's waiting for him. But it's all so wrong. You love this child more than anyone else could. This only makes it harder. Please, Nico. For, for Angel's sake, if not for mine. He's right. I don't want either of you in trouble. I don't know how you stay this strong. Because you love me almost as much as I love you. But... Oh. This isn't about what I need. It's about him. And he needs his mum. Come on. You guilt trip me into coming here when all the time you were setting a trap. Honest, I swear, it wasn't anything like that. Please, I can explain. It, it just broke my heart listening to Jimmy talk to him. I'm really sorry. You will be when I report you. No, don't. I did it for little Carl, too. He'll never know how much he's loved by his real dad. I brought him straight back. Do you have any idea of the hell I've been through sitting here wondering what happened to him? But I'd never let anybody hurt him. And everything you feel for Carl, Jimmy feels the same. If anyone took Angelica, you'd want them stringing up. This will be the last you hear from us, I promise. But there's no need to involve the police. Please. I'll be the judge of that. Don't I even get to kiss him goodbye?
She's right. If I was her, I'd want blood. Doesn't matter now. It's over. We've already lost Carl. If she gets the police involved, they could take away Angel too. What have I done? And then here she is, the wanderer returns. Hey. Hey. Welcome on, back. Hiya, Mum. Oh, wow. I missed you. <laughs> well, yeah, but he has pined for you, love. Yeah. Hey, don't we all get a hug before the flaming dog? Sorry, I've missed you all. Nah. Yeah, we're just not as cute as he is, are we? <laughs> Speak for yourself. Welcome home, sis. Yeah, do right. Pine for you more than Alfie. <laughs> hey, love. Aaron, you actually have hair. Yeah, and you must be like, what, 30? Yeah, well, I've just got back from prison. What's your excuse? <laughs> What's happened to the AFS? Uh... Oh, argument with the hatchback, apparently. Occupational hazard, actually. I'm sorry, I didn't get to visit you. Don't worry about it. I didn't really want to be there either. It was noisy and the food was rubbish. A bit like your pub, actually. Oh, did you do Yeah, I think I did. Right, can we please send her back? <laughs> Sorry, I got caught up with, uh... Oh my God. Hello. She packed this. Uh, just some uh, nappies, clothes, favourite toys. Oh, and there's some snacks. Strawberry rice cakes. The kid loves them. Thank you. It's all there. Uh... Sure it is. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel's very grateful. Yeah. Tell her to take good care of herself. And get in touch when she's ready. Will do. So thank you. Oh, sweetheart. Hey. I'm your daddy. Remember? I'm never going to let go of you again. Do you hear me? I will never, ever let go of you again. <laughs> I've not seen anything you like. I'm not a thief. Well, that was part of the deal. Yeah, well, he's nicking enough stuff for both of us, isn't he? Because he knows that's all he's good for. How are you getting on up there? I've just been looking around your bird's knicker drawer. <laughs> she got shares in Spanx or something? Right, I think I know who's going to get punched. You done in here? Nice no, shy. How much is this worth? Why don't you take it and find out? Nah. Looks rubbish. What are you doing? What? I'm making it look authentic. Yeah, we'll just make it quick. Yeah, it's about time I went to go rescue the old get. So you might want to... Guess what I did? Took the wrong purse, no cash and no card, so you can imagine how long that lasted. Oh my god! <sighs> Let him go. No, you got what you came for, so just get out, okay? Grab her! No, right, get right. out! Hey, hey, down, right? Hey, we are, we are. Everyone's calm, all right? So there's no need to do anything stupid. Just walk away. Where's my dad? What have you done with Shut my dad? Your mouth, and you will live to find out. <laughs> No, no, he's fine. He's fine. He was feeling better, so I gave him some money for the cinema. He's, he's, he's all right. Come on, let's go. No, we've not got enough yet. Yeah, you have. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, there's a safe. All oh, right. Well, why didn't you say? I just did, didn't I? Fine. Soft job. If she moves, take care of her. Do it. What have you done with my father? He has heart problems. Please let me go and check on him. I know you think I'll run and call the police, but I won't. <laughs> Some people put family first. <sighs> right now, you're just a thief. I, I don't care what you've taken. I don't care if you get caught. If my father dies, you're a murderer. So let go of me, please. <sighs> let go of my neck. What are you doing? Get off him! What are you doing? Oh. 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 Run! Go! I said go! Come on! Come on if that's what you want! 
Tracy. Oh, you okay? Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Mondays, Wednesdays, match day, Saturday. As well as swimming on Tuesday and youth club on Fridays. Exactly. Sunday's your day off. Right, cheers, mate. You could always coach him yourself. You are. Oh, all you need is a five a side. Or as many of the lads you can muster from round here. What do you mean, like, start a team? Yeah, why not? And it could be a good thing for father and son, a bit of bonding. And you'd save yourself a few bob in petrol. <laughs> Hey, you can't bring that in here. Have you been drinking? What do you think? Bell. Bell! What? What are you playing at? You can't have that. Are you going to stop me? <sighs> you got Zach and Lisa's number? Oh, yeah, that's right. You ring Mum and Dad, tell them their darling little girl screwed up again. Whoopsies! Hey, give it here. Whoa! Oh. No, look what you made me do! Hey, yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. It's fine. Come on, let's sit down. No, get off of me. I don't care. I do what I want. Well, come on! Come on! Calm down, will oh. you? Whoa! Just leave me alone! Whoa! Don't! Whoa! Hey! What's going on? Just calm down. It's OK. No, it's not OK. And I'm fed up of people telling me what to do. Do not tell me what to do! Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. It's OK. <sighs> Bell. Just come inside the no, garage. Don't touch me, get oh, off. All right, all right. You're just going to sit there, are you? And just wait till they call the cops. You do remember you're unlicensed. I don't care. Bell, Bell, what's happened? I got drunk and I smashed the shop. Are you happy now? No. Oh. Why? Come on, love. Come on, let's get you home. No, just leave me alone. Look, hey, look, there's no need to shout, love. It'll be okay. I don't care. Go on then, call the police. Go on then. All right, so that's what this is about, is it, eh? You want to go back to the centre? Yeah, I do. No, I want to be away from all you lot, because when I'm in there, there is nobody staring at me or judging me or talking about me behind my back. We're just worried about no, your Lord, love. Please, please, just take me back. I just want to go back. Go on. You delete it. I haven't uploaded it. That's the only copy. I got you a present. Why? I've got the latest one, so... Jamie! Did your mum give it to you? No. Make my own money. How? I'll show you sometime. That's if you want to hang out more. Yeah, I'd like that. How high do you reckon this is? Do you ever get that feeling? It's 
scared of being up high, but you really want to jump off. Of course. Doesn't everyone? You don't, do you? Because you can't bring yourself to do it. I wonder what makes people do that. Let's just make that decision. Step right over the edge. Crazy. And nowhere else hurts. But that's killing, though. It's no biggie. What made you jump? I don't know. I, I just did it. Not because I was going on about it. No, it wasn't you. And it's not even that high. So random. I love it. That's still working. It is as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't keep it. It's too much. Borrow it then. Still got some of my old playlists on. They're a bit... They're not mainstream, but I think you'll like them. You calling me weird? I think we're both a bit weird. Hey, there's still time yet. Dan's car's parked round the back. Give me a signal. I'll have you gone in 60 seconds. Save your jokes for the speech. My speech has to be funny. In fact, you can scrap it. It's banned after last night. <gasps> oh. Still no sign of Kane? Looks like someone's still <laughs> sulking. Oh. It's here. Come on, then. I think you might want to slip outside for a second. Debbie's not here yet with Sarah. You're going to have to stall her. It's not Katie. So what's with the face, then? Bernice, what are you doing? Getting my man back. Don't marry her. Have me. I know you miss me. Ross told me. So this is my grand gesture to show you that I feel the same. Bernice, come on, love. No, 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 Mum. No. We don't have to get married. But you can't marry Katie. I both know that's not what you want. Have you... Have you two been carrying on? No, I've hardly seen her since she ate the ring. You've thrown yourself into this, Andy. And I know it's not what you want. I can see it in your eyes. And all we can see in yours is crazy. I'm trying to save you. And I'm saving you from yourself. All I want for Christmas is you. Is you, Andy? Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Get up. To her. A bottle of whiskey going by her breath. Katie will be here in a minute. She's a riddler. It's going to take both of us to get her home. Let her come. Let Andy choose and may the best woman win. <laughs> Pull yourself together. No one likes a drunken bride. Better. Better. Thank you. He doesn't love me, does he? No, sweetheart. And this isn't my dress. It isn't. Well, whose dress is it, then? It is pretty amazing you invited him. Holly's made the effort. I thought I should, too. Where's Dad? Sarah wants him to see you in a dress. Uh, up your mother's backside, as far as I can make out. Well, Bernice nicked my dress, so... She tried to nick your groom, huh? What's happened to your face? Robert, don't worry, though. Please be seated. You're my best friend. My first love. You know me better than anyone. And bearing that in mind, 
I can't believe you're giving a plant pot like me a second chance. <laughs> I promise to love you and to care for you no matter what life throws us. I promise to support you, to be faithful always, and try my hardest to be the husband you deserve. Thanks. Andy, since we did this last time, we've made our mistakes. <laughs> Lots. But I know now that I was meant to make those mistakes. Every one of them. Because every single one brought me back to you. I promise to stay by your side always. To love and cherish you through the good times and the bad. And to be the wife that you deserve. I am happy, I promise. <laughs> Come to the giving and receiving of rings. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Catherine and Andrew a symbol of an ending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. I give you this ring. Uh, I give you this what's ring. What's, what's wrong? Nothing. What have you done now? It, it was ages ago, okay? With, with my body, I honour you. All that I I'm am... I'm sorry, Ashley. I'm just going to have to stop you there. Village bike? What? My wedding ring says village bike inside. It was you, wasn't it? Look, it was a stupid joke from before. Get before. out of my wedding now. But I've forgotten I'd even done it. But you did it! And it's here, engraved in my wedding ring. But you wanted to hurt as well. Well done, congratulations, you've done it again. Now get out of my wedding, Robert. Dad'd be proud now, wouldn't he? I am so sorry. Was it soon yours? Village idiot. Well, I guess I am. For thinking he was sorry. How can we do it now with those rings? What, so you want to call it off? No, Andy, I don't, but he's ruined it, hasn't he? I get to marry you again. There's nothing he could do to ruin that. It's always put some words into a piece of metal. Who cares? We're going to be together forever. He can't touch us. You can be dead romantic when you want. So, will you marry me? Presence of God and before this congregation, Catherine and Andrew have given their consent and made their vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God joins together, let no one put asunder. <laughs>